I am here to specifically talk about uh, Walt Disney World's Marathon Weekend, which I had a complete blast taking part of uh, a couple of years ago. For starters, uh, if anyone is interested in actually running a marathon um, or a half marathon, uh, Disney does both. Uh, they are great races. They do allow walkers, so you do not need to be a quote-unquote runner. They have a whole weekend dedicated to the races down there. It's normally held the first or second week uh, in January. They have a, uh, a half a marathon on Saturday and a full marathon on Sunday. And uh, they have something also that's called the Goofy Challenge, and that's for the people who are crazy enough to actually do both in two days. Um, that would be me. Uh, also, they have a family fun run, which takes place on Friday. So there's something for, for everybody in the family to do. I have to tell you in advance that the races are not cheap to book. Uh, the Goofy Challenge, if memory serves me correct, costs approximately between $250 and $275. But you actually get good stuff um, as compared to some of the other races that I've run. Uh, the Disney hardware, uh, meaning the medals that you get, is pretty much second to none. Um, in your race bag, when you pick that up at the Wide World of Sports Complex, you get, if you do the Goofy Challenge, you actually get three shirts. Here is the Goofy Challenge shirt from the year that I ran. Here is the half marathon shirt. Here is the full marathon shirt and as you can see I mean the shirts are pretty good quality so should you decide to to book one of the races you're at least guaranteed to get a shirt which if you were to buy in a store or something probably cost you between thirty and forty dollars so it's it's not that bad the medals upon completion I have to say they're some of the nicest medals I've ever seen um, you do get the third medal for completing the goofy challenge the Mickey medal is for doing the full marathon, the Donald medal is for doing the half marathon, and again right there in the middle is the Goofy Challenge medal and that is presented to the people who are um, lucky enough to finish both races in two days. I have to say it was probably the most fun I've had running almost 40 miles in two days. Um, when, I, when I booked the race, being a, a, a Disney fan, I was really looking forward to being able to run through the parks. Yes, you literally start in Epcot, and for the half marathon, you run through Epcot and the Magic Kingdom. And for the full marathon, you are lucky enough to run through all of the theme parks at some point during your 26.2 mile trek at a crazy early hour in the morning. The races begin at, uh, very, very early in the morning and you need to line up and be in your corral. For those of you who are familiar with how race day works at different races, they're all pretty similar. Just that Disney just happens to operate theme parks and 25,000 to 30,000 runners on that Saturday and Sunday. And oh, by the way, all the parks are open. The People on the course are spectacular, the, 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 they cheer for you, the support along the course is second to none, and you are running through some of the coolest areas of, um, of Walt Disney World. Some of the complaints I heard were that in the morning in Florida, it can be um, kind of cold, uh, and you needed to be in your corral at uh, between 4 and 4.30 a.m. for a between 5.30 and 6.10 a.m. start. So there's a lot of standing around, and if it's, a, if it's not a good day or if it's really cold, you're gonna have to find some ways to stay warm. I enjoyed it very, very much. Uh, they, I got to see and run through parts of Epcot and the Magic Kingdom and, and Disney's Hollywood Studios that I would never normally see as just a guest of the resort or a guest just visiting the theme park. Overall, I do think that the value you get for running the races is second to none. I mean, you're getting to run through r quite literally the happiest place on earth. And um, you'd be amazed that they do a, a race for roughly 25,000 people on Saturday, pack up, 
and do a race for roughly 25,000 people on Sunday. It is a lot of people. I will tell you this, if this is something that you're interested in doing, um, book your race registration early. The half marathon does sell out before the full marathon does. The Goofy Challenge does sell out before the full marathon sells out, only because only a certain number of entrants are allowed to enter the Goofy Challenge. Um, and then the marathon subsequently will, will sell out sometime around October, uh, as late as November of that year. Depending on where you're traveling from, Disney has a wide world of sports complex, which is where they house their Marathon Weekend Expo. That consists of a whole bunch of different running vendors. This is where you would go if you needed any last minute running supplies or anything. You can buy all your Disney merchandise, your Disney Marathon merchandise there. And this is where you actually pick up your bib number and your official race bag. Uh, it's very important. Uh, they do not release bib numbers on the days of races for obvious reasons. The races start at 5.30 a.m. There would be no chance that you would be able to get to the wide world of sports and to your corral in time. I recommend getting to your destination at least a couple of days before you want to actually run your first race so you can get acclimated, eat a good meal, get situated, get to the expo, get your bib number, get your bag, and, and believe it or not, I know running um, running 26.2 or 13.1 or even the Goofy Challenge is tough, but you're running at the happiest place on earth, and it was one of the most amazing experiences of my entire life, and I truly, truly cannot wait to do it again. You don't have to be a runner to do it. There are plenty of running, running programs on the internet that you could use to train. If you decide to take this venture, best of luck to you. Thank you for watching.